Tom Rice Martin is a movement worker, educator, and poet who has organized against mass incarceration and extrajudicial killing of black and brown people throughout the United States. He has educated in detention centers from New York's Rikers Island to California's San Quentin State Prison. His work in Rikers Island was featured in the New York Times. He was also adjunct faculty at the Institute for Research in African American Studies at Columbia University in New York. Subscribing to the Ferry model of education, he designed curricula for oppressed people's education projects from San Francisco to South Africa. His latest curriculum on extrajudicial killing of black people, We Charge Genocide Again, has been used as an educational and organizing tool throughout the country. He uses his craft to create liberated territory wherever he performs and teaches. He recently lived and organized around issues of human rights and self-determination in Jackson, Mississippi. His books include Someone's Dead Already, and Heaven is All Goodbyes, and Blood on the Fog. Give it up for San Francisco's poor lawyer, Tom Weisner. <laughs> Foxhole Friday nights, most of life is mute. 
A comedian points out a planter's field to a priest, King Sugarcane, King Cotton King, revolutionary to Bali Central, containing almost a shallow introduction introducing an unlisted planter class speaking about fevers and balance sheets and reassuring the masses that we could figure out our fathers later. A priest took my mother lightly, Lord, stood in front of parishioners re-rattling fantasies about black art, priest reading confidently before I broke him and broke his parallel after the day I've never been a poet before. A little brother watches his big brother's friends and need rifles on sheltered walls that agree with me and call it literature. It's a simple matter, this revolution thing. To really lie to no one, to keep nothing godlike, to write a poem for God. I go to the railroad tracks and follow them to the station of my enemies. A cobalt-toothed man pitches pennies at my mugshot negative all over the United States. There are toddlers in the rock. I see why everyone out here got in the big cosmic basket and why blood agreements mean a lot and why I get shot back at. I understand the psycho-spiritual refusal to write white history to take the glass freeway. White skin tattooed on my right forearm, ricochet sewage near where I collapsed into a rat-infested manhood. My new existence is living graffiti in the kitchen with a lot of gun cylinders to hack up. House of God in part, no cops in part, my body brings down to Christmas. The new bullets pray over blankets made from the old bullets. Pray over the 28th hour's next duty mark. Extrajudicial Confederate statue restoration. The waistband before the next protest post. Hey, by the way. Time is not an illusion, Your Honor. I don't say you're desperate. Uh, you are witty, Your Honor. You're moving money again, Your Honor. It is only raining one thing. Non-white cops and prison guard shadows reminding me of spoiled milk floating on an oil spill. A neighborhood making a lot of fuss over his demise. A new lake for a Black Panther party. Malcolm X's ballroom jacket slung over my son's shoulder. The figment of villains. A new noose to a new white preacher. All in an abstract painting of a president. Boss slavery some time, didn't it? The tantrum screeches a military boss in election Tuesday car, a cold-blooded study in leg irons proof that some white people have actually found the nooses. As sundown couples made their vows of love over opaque peach plastic and vote action audiences, the Medgar Evers second is definitely my favorite law of science. Found the news clippings and primitive Methodists, my arm changes in paperism. Simple policing versus structural frenzies. Elementary school script versus even white or white spectrum. All this bleeding in the challenge of watching civilians take a terrible rituals they have around the corner. They let their elders beg for public mercy. I'm going to go ahead and sharpen these kids' heads and their arrows myself and see how much gravy spills out of family crest, modern fans of war. Whoa, 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 with their t-shirt poems and t-shirt guilt and me having on the cheapest pair of shoes on the bus. I have no choice but to read the city walls for signs of my life. You know, apparently too much of San Francisco was not here in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> this dream requires more condemned Africans, or put another way, State violence rises down, or still life is just getting warmed up, or <laughs> army life is looking for a new church and ignoring all other suggestions, or folktale writers have not made up their minds as to who is going to be their friends. You know, this is the worst downtown yet, and I've borrowed a cigarette everywhere. I've taken many a walk to the back of a bus that led on out the back of a storyteller's prison sentence, then on out the back of slave scars, but this is my comeback face. I left my watch on the public bathroom sink and took the toilet with me. Threw it at the first bus I saw, eating single mothers half a lot. It flew through the bus line numbered and on out the front of the White House. <laughs> Hopefully you find comfort downtown, but if not, we brought you enough cigarette filters to make a decent winter coat. A special species of handshake that's all know who's king. It was the lifespan of uniform cloth. This coffee needs to quit acting like those are birds singing. Rusty nails have no wings, have no voice other than that of a white world dying in book pages in the gas pump. Catchy, isn't it? The way three nooses is the rule. Or the way potato sack masks go so well with radio codes. Or the way condemned Africans fought their way back to the ocean only to find ways to make a 1920s burnt up piano parts, European backdoor deals, and red flowers for widows who spent all day in the sun mumbling in San Francisco. Red flowers, but what's the color of a doctor visit? There are book titles in the streets. Book titles like Hero, you make a better zero. Or Hey, fur call lady, the president is dead. Or Penny back and children. Or They hung up their bodies in their own museums. And other book titles pulled from a drum solo. Run here, hero. Live the hiding place. All the bullets in 10 precincts know where to go. There's no heaven doing the other good idea. And the sky politics means that people did it and people do it. Understand that when in San Francisco and other places that was never really there. I bet this ocean thinks it's an ocean, but it's not. It's a 6th and Mission Street. I don't know who's king. King of thin things. You know, like America, I'm proud to deserve to die. I'm going to eat my dinner extra slow tonight in this police state candy dispenser you all call a neighborhood. No set of manners goes unpunished. Never mind a murderer's insomnia or the tea kettle preparing everyone for police sirens. Societies wander together, like hopeful drops of a virus. Citizen testaments bent on offering me a nation of breadwinners to hold me back, like it's a Brinks. 
I wrinkle the concrete sometimes like flesh. My Martin Luther King permanence turned away from the podium into the reeds like God is a dangerous twin. Black August to the mountaintop balcony on my bedroom floor. You know, they steal you from the earth itself and suspend you in your broken neck from their foolish euphoria. From the loyalty of their great superstitions, loyalty of their agrarian reform. I return to my mother completely disrespected. For peeling the heat off of purgatory, they kill poets like me. Walk me away from my poems, never to be heard from again. In this final industrial complex, the bloodlines picked over, picked through, a sporting spiritual death of your devil, at least half made police become a pretty word. I'm reading a lynch mob shoestrings like they were tea leaves, <laughs> teaching you how to write about cities. It's the 25th century in the mirror, people. Tyranny against your chump change, you're a chump to be mocked even with a gun in your car. A cube of needlework spell tuned for the proletariat, the relapse ministry. Talented people curled up in a fetal position next to a diamond dime. Just another service day in the theatrics of tea house fascism and a bouquet of surveillance cameras in the poverty of God, new blue eyes, courses of water, a newly potted presidency. Or one big shiny coin if you ask the animated capitalism and other non-literal voice killing this white freedom. The deification of hyphens, medicine, bread, and picture shows. Great protesters in L.A., guests of our ink. Drop kicking roses in the graveyard. DC mink like a stone torn in half the pen advances, despite CIA guideposts, despite non-African past and futures, a metaphorical but not surreal day in a horn-written life horn player improvising king. Like a radio prize fight featuring Shango himself, a real hand sweeps the land of racism. May I return to the ground? May I make progress with the gun? On our mother Emmanuel they put on music that evening. A swinging type body language for you to drink with fermented five dollar bills. For your body language, some applause, my past stomach lining. Neither a good thing nor a bad thing. Like being psychic on the way to a lethal injection. It'll sit you down with Lady Day. Lady Day leading you to surrender their souls to Africa too soon. Polly thought floating in a cup of water she saved me. Accessing my stomach, accessing the love of the American lynch. Coach leaves wooden avalanche to the wrist. Our mother Emmanuel, avalanche to the shark keeps pain. The deal you make with pain. Piano makes sense to them. Laying hands on the world gradually. Addressing the bend and necks on the streets of the north. Traveling sailing in pain, repeating pain in the north. Ten trigger fingers on that piano if harmony would have me. Putting a hundred fights on every direction offered her. Late day, leaning on trees again. Recruiting the countryside itself. Saying, lay your plan out on this lightning. Make your poems a corner pocket of men. I greeted the blues itself. America may clean my dead body, but will never include me. There goes the poet. Killing without killing. Never mind this painting of your language. May I, be, may I be a meaningful lynching, a crow's passing, good and dead by the afternoon. <laughs>